What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 61 of Autodesk Fusion. All right, I got some really cool stuff to, sh stuff to show on this video. Um, what I'm going to do is probably the shortest cut method I've seen on getting the follower rods and the cams to work appropriately. So the first thing I'm going to do is, you notice that when I drag this around, I can move my bottom piece even though it is grounded. And the way we've done it with this bottom-up design is that Fusion kind of sees this bottom piece as a sub-assembly. And so that's why we're allowed to move it. So I'm going to right-click and make this a rigid group. We're going to go ahead and continue rather than cap that position because I didn't move it too much. And then include child components. Now click OK. Now it does not move. So we're looking good. Since I don't need this box anymore, everything else is with the cams and the follow rods, I'm going to go ahead and just make those inactive. Okay, we're looking good now. So the second problem I run into is that all of my follow rods can go through my cams, and I really don't like that. So we're going to hit Assemble, Enable All Contact. Now that's just saying everything in my design so far, nothing can go through anything else. It's They're now treated as physical objects. All right, and now here's probably where the money is earned for this video, or like the sweet spot as worth your price of admission, as, a, as my master teacher would say. So what we got here is you can try to figure out the minimum point for these and look at that value. What I found to be a better choice of method is if I right click and hit edit joint limits, we're going to click on rest, but rather than just finding this very specific value for that minimum distance, I'm just going to type in a value I know that is over that. So that's going to be one inch because I know the distance between here and my crankshaft is a little bit over one inch right now. So then I'm going to click OK. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and find my next joint. If you notice, I had a hard time clicking on that. That's because I was zoomed in. So I zoom out, and now I'm able to click on that joint. All right. So I'm going to click on Edit Joint Limits, Rest. We're also going to do one inch. Didn't need to find it. No copy and paste. We're looking good. All right. And now I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I mean here when I move this. So that even though um, my the way it's working right now is we're just telling those follow rods to go to a minimum value as long as they're not being pushed by something and they're always being pushed by something and that something is the cam and so I'm just going to do this for the other two and then we're going to call it done so right click edit joint limits minimum minimum of one inch call it done looking good alright I'm going to right click edit joint limits rest one inch now what you don't want to do, and I ran into a problem, is if what happens if you choose a value that is too far, um, you tend to lock up the system. And so one inch or just them trying to eyeball that distance um, tends to work well. Okay, all right. Now let's see if we have got our, uh, I would say our automata working the way it should be. I'm gonna revert. Let's see if we can get this working. So right click, animate model. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We now have a fully functioning automata box. Let's go ahead and reactivate our side walls and our back. And things are kind of doing as expected. Uh-oh, we did run into a little bit of a problem. Let's see if I can fix that. Edit joint limits, rest, one inch. Uh, let's see. For some reason, that wasn't working. There we go. Bring those in as active components. Now let's try to animate that model one more time. Just want to make sure everything's working as expected. And there we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it for this video. The next video I'm going to do is a multi-view drawing um, and then how to do one drawing file with multiple sheets. And every sheet will have everything in this design with dimensions. Alrighty guys, that'll be it. If you have any questions, let me know. You can throw them in the comments, comments or uh, find me through whatever means. Um, but good luck on making your automatas. If you have any questions, you know where to find me.
Take care.